so interestingly enough, so, so my, you know, clinical thought to seeing you was that this is your gallbladder, and then the gallbladder ultrasound comes back and it's negative, so we get the CT scan. Uh, You're getting like a ton. Oh, oh that hurt. She scalped, bro. She scalped you. <laughs> I've never seen him feel this crappy. Okay, this is not normal for you. This is not normal. Pushing the hospital tonight. They have to do the surgery tomorrow, and gallbladder's gone by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, a few days ago, this scary thing happened to me. Um, I had to go to the emergency room, and I almost had to get surgery and stuff. But that was the, the only option they left me with, is either I can get surgery that night while I was there, or get it in a couple days. So our mom was gone, and Brock, your stomach was just hurting upstairs. Like, yeah. you said that you were shaking. Like, what, like I'll give you guys the whole story. So I went, I was eating a ton that day, um, and I was, was sitting down eating my burger. Literally like five minutes after my burger was down, I'm like, oh my, my stomach's just killing me. So I go upstairs, I go lay down, and it's just, it's just killing me. Like, it's not just where my um, gallbladder is, it's like my whole stomach, and it's just, it's just hurting so bad. So I literally, I go upstairs, and I'm laying down, and then, at first, did you think it was like food poisoning or something? Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it, I thought it was food poisoning. I thought like everything else, like I'm like, oh, maybe it's my appendix or like something because I was Googling stuff while I was just laying down to like see if there's a reason I need to go to like the hospital or something. So I tried to go to the bathroom and I, I just could not. And then so I went back downstairs and I grabbed some medicine. I, I got like the pepto bismol stuff, like the acidic stuff for your stomach. So I went, popped one of those, and went back upstairs and my stomach was killing. So I went, I grabbed my blanket and my pillow and I was like laying down on the bathroom floor and then I, it was just hurting for like 20 minutes. And then I finally go, I'm like, I can't take it enough. I went and stuff came out of me went back downstairs and then i told my dad and then my dad got me more medicine and i was still just like sweating shaking like in bed like it was the worst feeling ever my stomach was just dying and i go back to the bathroom and then that same thing happens again stuff comes out i go back downstairs and i'm talking to my dad and i'm like i think we gotta go and he's like okay do you want to go to the hospital and stuff i'm like yeah like we need to go now he made me just sit down and like kind of like chill for a little bit for like five minutes and then it was still just hurting so bad so we went and we left and this was at like eight o'clock at night yeah they end up leaving and then i'm upstairs i'm watching a netflix movie and i get a call from my dad saying that they're on their way to the hospital and i was like wait like is everything okay and they're like yeah brock's stomach just really hurts we think it might be his, his appendix so brock in the er right now he might have appendicitis so we'll see what the doctor says when they come back in so at this point, I was checked in the hospital. I was laying in the hospital bed. I had like my little gown that I had to have on and stuff. You like looked like Eleven from Stranger Things. Yes. So I had that on. Down in my like bottom part of my stomach, mm -hmm. and also I, had, I I felt it like almost even like in my sternum and then like kind of my back too. Okay, just the right side to the yeah, back. Yeah, just the right side. Okay. When did that start up, roughly? About an hour and a half ago. Okay. Probably so two hours ago. Recent thing. Yeah. Okay. We didn't get run into anything, get hit there, fall on anything. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Has that happened before? Um, no, not really. All right. Um, nausea or vomiting? Um, I did. I, I did puke twice. When was the last time you pooped? Um. Is there a family history of anything like kidney stones or gallbladder issues, anything like that? Not that, that I can think, not from me. me. I, I mean, okay. gallbladder, I'm not sure. Okay, well, have they drawn blood from you yet? No. But they'll also probably want to do some sort of a CT scan. Uh, that might be with contrast, it might be without to start. Let me go get a syringe so that when we get that IV in, we can just draw that blood from labs because they're going to be in here in a second to get that, okay? That's perfect. Be right back. That's what I'm doing before I do it. Okay. We're just going to clean this site real quick. I've never seen him feel this crappy. Okay. This is not normal for you. This is not normal. All right. Pay no mind to that. I'm going to have lab come in instead of poking you again. They're going to just pick that up instead. Okay. Right. Thanks for doing right, that. You're welcome. And they're doing blood tests that gave me a blood draw and then also an IV. And then they started doing blood Wait, tests. Wait, did they have to do like it multiple times? Like, could no. they find a vein at first no. or what? No, the nurse goes, she's like, oh, you have really good veins. And then went and just got it. Like, she's she complimenting like, me she about like my hitting vein. on you or something. Woo! No, it was like an old woman. Like, she was old. So they're doing all those scans and then they come in with an ultrasound. And they started giving me an ultrasound um, of where my gallbladder is to see if I had like gallstones or like anything messed up with my gallbladder. How long did it start? 
Um, I got it two hours ago. I mean, we don't check your gallbladder out. I don't look at all the organs that are over there on the right side. Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath in for me. They're giving me the ultrasound. They're like, oh, we don't see anything from there. Um, I've been I've been laying down for a little bit, and then they want me to do like a CT scan of my uh, my stomach. Is that where you get inside the tube, or what is it? Uh, yeah. Well, you just go. It's like a big hole, and then you just kind of like ride in it, and then back out, in it, and then out. But it's not like like a massive thing. I don't uh, know. So, some sort of X-ray. I went in there. They gave me like the IV that like makes your body feel warm and fuzzy. That's what I got. Actually, I've had that before when we were in the plane crash. Yeah, I it, remember. They it like they feel like you ate like a bag of hot Cheetos. Yeah. It's and just, then did you need to pee after? Yeah. That's it, literally what so happened to me. It, it was uncomfy. So for that scan, they were specifically checking for my appendix. I get wheeled back to the room. I'm just still sitting there in pain. It's gotten a little bit better from the time that I first got there. So that was nice. But I was just laying down, they gave me a blanket, and then came back in with all the results. So, interestingly enough, so, so my, you know, clinical thought to seeing you was that this is your gallbladder. And then the gallbladder ultrasound comes back and it's negative. So we get the CT scan. The CT scan usually terrible for gallbladder. And, and we're really looking at the appendix and everything else. And your appendix is fine, everything else is fine, and it's your gallbladder. Really? Yeah. So you do have gallstones, which is unusual. Uh, it's unusual um, for three things. You're a male, you're 18 years old, and you're thin. Typical gallstone picture is a female in her 40s who's fat. But that's not you, obviously. <laughs> so, But you've got stones in your gallbladder. What does that mean? Because you eat something, especially a food that's got a, a higher fat content, like a hamburger. When you eat it, the gallbladder tries to push out uh, the bile and it can't get past the stone, so it causes this intense pain. And then as, as the need to try and you know take care of the food goes down, it's Stops trying to push the bile out and goes back down some. So the question it's is, what? It's so interesting because he eats so healthy. Yeah, I have I, I have my stuff tracked on my fitness pal too. Yeah, yeah, I have all of that. And here's our options based on this. So you got elevated white blood cell count of fifteen thousand and change. Normal is about eleven thousand and downward to about six thousand. So you're elevated. You got a leftward shift, and that means less inflammatory and more potentially uh, concerning. You know, it's not terrible. You don't have any infection, but you do have your body's a little bit angry about this gallbladder, and you do have pain. So option one, you can go home and follow up with general surgery on an outpatient basis. Pick a time and date, blah, blah, blah. I'll put you on a very low fat diet, which you're probably already eating. The hamburger will be out, of course. Option two, put you in the hospital tonight. They have to do the surgery tomorrow and gallbladder's gone by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, if you're hurting and uh, you're concerned about the white blood cell count, then coming in is fine. If you say, look, you know, dude, I'm not hurting that bad. I kind of want to, you know, think about this and have discussions and I want to set up some outpatient. That's fine too. You know, it's yeah. up to you. And you can always come back if the pain is dramatic. And that's what I want you to do. If you have fevers and chills and you're feeling worse and the pain is worse, just come back if that's what you want to do. So he'll for sure have to get it out. Yeah, I mean, what's going to happen is it's just going to get worse until some point. See, right now it's a, it's elective. It's, you know, how bad is Brock want the pain to go away? You know, how, how bad is Brock feeling? So we can pick the time and place when it's convenient for us to have the surgery. Well, should we... Give us five minutes to think about it. You take as long okay? as you want. You take as long as you want, and just let the nurse know what you want me to do, and okay. I will do whichever one. It'll either be discharge orders home or admission orders. And we'll get you upstairs within the next hour. Okay. And tonight it would just be nothing to eat or drink after midnight, so you can have a snack now or water now if you want. I would suggest nothing but liquids. But you might have more pain, uh, and then uh, so he would come see you in the morning and uh, whisk you off, and you would come <laughs> back and we'll look a little bit lighter than you were when you went in. <laughs> Perfect. Y'all think about talking about it. Call mom, what you want to do. Okay. Let them know. We'll do whatever you want. All right. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the options that they gave me. I was just stressed, and I just do not want to go through something like that right now. We call my mom, and since my mom's out of town, she picks up, and she's like, what the heck's happening? And she's like, no, uh, let's wait on the surgery. Like, I don't feel right about it. So we didn't do the surgery. Also, keep in mind, we've had, like, a bunch of, like, family members. Like, they have, oh, like, yes. gall gallbladder my, my, co my cousin, and he's gotten his fixed just with doing a diet and cleansing and stuff. And it's, like, we even asked on Instagram. It's, like, about 50 50 so it's like people are like yes do the surgery it's no, easy no. nothing happens or some people are like this is the worst decision of my life i wish i never did it because they're like so affected by it every day we got discharged that night my stomach felt way better we were there for like hours it felt like and now we're on the process of getting a cleanse for me we just ordered a cleanse and then we also ordered like some hair scan so it'll check my hair and see like what things i need like what foods i should be eating and all that so um right now my diet is like no red meats and then also low dairy and like low fat like i don't want any fat to like just disturb my gallbladder so yeah that's what i'm on right now and i've been pretty hungry these past few days we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna get my gallbladder healed we finally got i think this is my this is either my cleanse 
or this is my hair scan. So this is it? So yeah. this is, is this the hair test? The or? hair test right here. Then this is my cleanse that you're gonna be trying out. What exactly is all this stuff? I don't stuff? know. We're just hoping for the best here. <laughs> We're just gonna have him take a bunch of random pills, not know what it hoping is. for the best here. No, I'm just kidding. No, so what do you do for the hair test? Cause you've done it before and you just like send in a piece of your hair and that's it? <laughs> that's this, this is different. So we're gonna do both the hair test and the cleanse. Okay. And what does it do? Well, this is supposed to clear out his liver or the gallstones. This is supposed to test to like see what things are he's deficient in. You found out that you need more uh, you magnesium need. or selenium or like different minerals. Wait, like give him or like what like what like give him something like, that they probably if know. You have to go gluten free or something. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it kind of just like, tells you that. Rock, you're looking a little concerned I know. at these bottles of things. I have to take all the stuff. Oh. So wait, my dad has also done it before. Who took out your hair, mom? Yeah, she did a terrible job. Oh my god. Well, I mean by Ripped out all of his hair. I know. No, you're supposed to pull out four strands, and I pulled out five, and she pulled out like ten on mine. No way. I have a bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> He's so full of crap. It has to get like to the root of his hair, right? He's grabbing close to the root. Did that hurt? Yeah, oh, that's a lot of hair. So those are all the pieces of hair. And that's gonna tell you what you need to heal your body. That is so wild to think about. I'm gonna grab a couple of hairs more just for for a good measure, just for fun. For good measure. And I'll, I guarantee mine don't hurt. Like Does it hurt? Mm -hmm. uh, you're getting like a ton. Oh, oh that hurt. Wow. Scalped, bro. She scalped you. Oh. I can see where she oh, scalped you. Swear? No. Wait, Dad, show me, show me. Give me a haircut. Oh my gosh. Look at that bald spot now. Oh, that's terrible. Last piece of hair. Wait, don't touch it, Jenny. Dad. Oh, pulled out for nothing. It's because he knows he didn't get it. He thinks he's like all is better than me, and he's not. The person that gets this test back, they're like, man, they ripped out the, the, the <laughs> this whole poor kid's, kid's head. head. Again? That's his skin. No, it's not. There's a bulb. Did you get a bulb? I hope so. <laughs> Look at all that hair. How fast are we gonna get it back? Usually about a week, I think. So we'll get your diagnosis in a whole week. That won't be too bad. Quick update. I've been taking my medicine for about like two days, and the only things that I've noticed so far, one, when I take my morning dose, I get super tired because I actually found out that it has melatonin inside the pill, so that's what's been making me sleepy. And also, food passes through me pretty quick, so I'm also hopefully hoping these stones pass through me pretty quick too as well. But yeah, that's the update. Um, I'll kind of I'll, I'll kind of tell you guys what happens after I'm done with the cleanse and when I go to my, when I go to my next hospital visit to get another scan. So right now, all I'm doing is just hoping that this cleanse works.